Hey guys, Mitch here. I'm just doing a little recording on my webcams that I do have, which I have probably more than I need. But I have an old C920. It's been around, I don't know, 8, 10 years, a long time. It's reliable. It works well. But I, I bought some other ones along the line. I got, I have this off-brand Allure Tech 4K. But right now I am on the four of the uh, Logitech C920. OBS just came out with an update, 2801. And what version 28 lets you do, it lets you save settings in OBS, which is a game changer to me. I don't have to worry about downloading G-Hub. G-Hub kind of works in the background and sometimes it causes issues when I shut down Windows sometimes. It'll hang. Um, so that's a plus right there. And uh, But this, but save those settings, man, it's a, it's a game changer. So 20, it's, it looks a lot different. I don't know what all the features it has, but it, de it definitely, the interface looks a little different. So it looks like I can I can manage, manage my broadcast. I can write from in here from OBS. You know, I'm on Windows 10. So that's really cool. So um, I'm going to just, just show you, you know, a little bit. I think this is is probably the best I can do with the Logitech C920. Now it's nighttime. I do have some L L LCD lights behind my monitor, but normally I would have them facing me. Uh, the Logitech really likes it. Want, it needs light. It likes you know, daytime is not a problem, but in the nighttime, you know, sometimes I don't want to mess around with the LCD lights, and yeah, you know, I got them shining on me. It's just too much. Right now, I, right now I have them going uh, shining against the wall, and it's bouncing back on me. It's giving pretty me. Uh, it's giving me a pretty even lighting you can see my guitars you can see the colors everything the only thing with this camera it doesn't have a wide field of view now the allure tech when i switch it to that you'll see the allure tech it's an off brand but it does have a much wider field of view and with that camera you know i have to turn the exposure down i don't I, I got to turn it down. I don't need that much light. Like too much comes in. It's oversaturated it's exposure wise. It's too much uh, light coming in where this is the opposite. Now I had a, I had a 4k Brio like a month ago, three week, weeks ago. I took it back because that thing, it was, uh, I, I didn't try it in the daytime. Probably would have been fine. But the main thing is I turn on my ceiling light and on the switch, it would get flickering. I couldn't get rid of it. And there was an update too. uh, 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 firmware update for it. it didn't help and i tried all kinds of stuff it, it just didn't didn't work i could get a decent picture i like the colors but i had to use my lcd lights and sometimes i don't want to use it but it really that camera really liked lights uh, i mean needed a lot of input you know you know, you know good lighting and uh, i just i just took it back mainly because of the flickering yeah you know, these i got these cheap cameras they don't do that this is the only, that's the only camera with flicker it don't matter you can change around with the uh your 50 hertz thing or 60 it didn't do nothing i sent it back and uh anyway i'm going to compare so this is this is the c920 true and you know it's it's decent you know i got the exposure i got this exposure off and actually i don't have fo i got fo automatic focus off too i don't like it when it does that hunting thing and always trying to and i think white balance i i do have one but uh but right now I think this is the best I'll get. Like I said, it's nighttime. I got a light on the ceiling, and I think it's got, I think I got two lights in it, two LED lights. And then I got two, like, four by five, four by six, whatever, LCD lights on tripods. But I got it, uh, as I said earlier, I have a face in the wall, and so the lighting is bouncing off of me. It's pretty even. It's not too bad right now. All right, I'm going to switch to the, I'm going to go ahead and kill this and switch to the, this is the uh, Allure Tech 4K. Uh, this is really cool because it's saving the settings. I don't have to go back there and fiddle with it every time I close OBS. Yeah, that's how. That's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm. I'm really sad. Really satisfied with that picture. I could, but maybe I could probably maybe turn the contrast down a little bit. I. I think it looks fine. It's good enough. It's a nice even lighting. Now I'm thinking about getting some color. I'm gonna have some color in the background. You know, get these color lights. Maybe then I'll turn. The lighting down and just so you know can emphasize the uh whatever like a, a lot of these you know real good youtuber channels man they got those colors in the background you know and led lights or whatever they look so cool you know i had a green screen i just took it down because i wasn't using it but uh but i might uh get a color lamp or something that changes colors they look so really cool and then i can keep the lighting really down in here but look, I didn't have to change. I just opened up OBS and I remembered my settings, what I saved them to. You know, well, I mean, what I set them to with this version 28. Uh, well, there's actually, there was an update to 28 and now it's 2801. And so far, so good. I'm really satisfied with it. 
So this is OBS 2801. It now saves your settings in OBS or your webcam settings. You don't have to bother downloading G-Hub or any third-party software. Like I said, when I had G-Hub, and I had the NVIDIA experience for my camera. You know, I, I should go to go to shut down Windows. They would have. He said I, had a, I would have a program running it in the background. I really didn't, but he did actually. And as soon as I took them off, no problem. And I don't have to worry about that. But look at this. You know, this is nice. I'd like the wide angle. This is really cool. Well, I mean, so you can really see how fat I am. You know, which that's not a good thing. But I'm really satisfied with this. It's 2801. This Allura Tech here, 4K, I got it at Best Buy about a year, year and a half ago. And it was actually, this is kind of pricey, like 100. I know, I think I paid 120 or something like that. Actually, I got that. I bought that and I got a Sony uh, A6000 mirrorless camera, which works really good. But I got to hook, I, you know, I have to hook up a, a, a HDMI, HDMI capture card and yeah, put it on a tripod. It's got all these wires all over the place. Plug it. You know, I got a, I got a, a dummy battery that you know is powered by you know, you know plugging into the wall. So I, have, I just gets a little bit, a little bit of pain in the butt. But it does. That's probably the best overall, obviously, because it's got a real lens in there and everything, optical lens. But um, but this is good. You know, this yeah, you can play with this and you can get a decent picture. Look, look how smooth that is. Now when I had the Brio. When I opened up the uh, exposure on that, it just killed the frame rates. I can turn this all the way up. It'll get real bright, but it will not mess with the frame rates. For some reason, that camera or the Logitech, you, know, you open up, you let a lot of exposure in, it's going to kill your frame rates. This does not. Um, so there's my two cents worth. There you have it, guys. Talk to you later.